What's up guys, Agent Android here with a new Minecraft tutorial. Today I will show you guys how to get shaders for Minecraft version 1.8. This will be a two-step process where I will first download the shaders mod jar, and then the shader of my choice. The shader I am currently using is Sonic Ether's Unbelievable Shaders, although there are many other amazing ones, such as Rudo Plays and Mr. Meeps to name a few. If you want to download those, then the process is pretty much the same. Now before we begin, let's go over the minimum system requirements. First off, your computer must have Windows. At the time I made this video, the shaders mod is not compatible with any version of Mac OS. So your computer also requires a good processor to go along with it, and at least 4 gigs of RAM and a fast graphics card. It is important to note that the shaders graphics are very CPU and graphics card intensive, so it is recommended that you have a good processor and a fast graphics card. Carionix, the developer of this particular shaders mod, has also mentioned that the Intel HD graphics cards don't work well with his mod. The best cards for this are apparently the NVIDIAs and the AMDs. So now that I've mentioned all the technical requirements, let's get started. Okay guys, so the first step to this installation process begins with opening the first link in the video description. This link will take you to the shaders mod thread on Minecraft forums, and once the page loads, you can read about the mod and get anything you may need, such as the recommended graphics drivers, resource packs, shaders, troubleshooting, and more. This post is regularly updated by Carionics, so it may be different from what it looks like right now. You will also find previous Minecraft version releases all the way through 1.6.4. The descriptions below the link will tell you about the requirements for downloading, for instance, some older versions require Forge. Also, most Ultra editions of the shaders will be compatible with Optifine, but I'll get to that later. For our purposes, in this installation, click the alternative download button where it says for Minecraft 1.8. For some reason, I am experiencing errors with the regular download page. So, if you seem to have these errors as well, click the alternative link right over here. This takes you to AdFly, so do not click anything on this page. Wait until the countdown timer right over here, in the upper right corner finishes, and then press skip add. Do not click anything that says download on this page. Those are just ads. So now, when it has loaded, we press skip add, and the download should start. Since I already have the mod downloaded, I'll go ahead and discard this one. Now you may be wondering why it says the file can harm your computer, and this message is standard when downloading any JAR file, so I wouldn't really worry about this for the installation. However, make sure you always know the reputation of what you download, and if you're unsure, read what others say in the original thread, just to make sure that the file won't give you viruses. So now that you've downloaded the shaders mod, drag it onto your desktop from the downloads folder. This will make it easier for the installation. After you've done this, go to the second link in the, link in the video description, which is for Sonic Ether's Unbelievable Shaders. This thread will also give you some useful information, so read through it if you'd like. When you're ready to download, scroll down to the download section and choose a version that works best for you. I personally use version 10.1 Ultra since my computer can handle it with ease, but if yours doesn't, you should install the standard version right over here. So I'll just go ahead and click the link. And as you can see, it brings you up to another AdFly page. Same as before, don't click any of this stuff, and just wait for the timer to finish. Press skip add, and now all you have to do is check this box right over here, and press download. After your download is finished, drag it onto the desktop so that it's more convenient in the installation. And before we get to it, make sure you have backed up all of your saved worlds. Although this installation shouldn't interfere with world saves, I still recommend that you have a copy of your important saves. To do that, go into your saves folder, right click on the world save after selecting it, press copy, and then go onto your desktop or your location for backups, and do paste. And as you can see, your world has successfully transferred out of your Minecraft folder and onto your desktop or wh whatever save location you use for your backups. So let's finally get started. If you've never downloaded shaders before, you will need to create a folder called shader packs. One word, all lowercase. Just right click on this blank area right over here beside all the files, go to new folder, and you'll be able to create the new folder. However, since I already have the folder, I can just delete this one. Once you have finally create once you have the folder created, simply drag and drop the SUSE file that you downloaded from the desktop and into the shader packs folder. Your shader packs folder should now contain the SUSE version 10.1 zip file. Now all you have to do for installing new shaders in the future, just erase the old one and drag and drop the new shader into the folder or keep both if you like. But we're not done yet. Let's install the jar file that is required to run the shader. If you haven't already done so, first you must install Minecraft 1.8 to your launcher. And since I already have 1.8, all I have to do is double click on the jar file, 
which is right over here. Click yes. And then I will click OK to agree to the terms and conditions on the next page. And then a dialog box should come up that says the installation was successful. So congratulations, you can now run the shaders pack. But before I finish this tutorial, let me show you guys how to optimize your shaders. Go to your Minecraft launcher page and press edit profile down over here. When the window comes up, go down and click the box next to JVM arguments. You will see that it begins with dash XMX 1G or something like that at the beginning. This means that your Minecraft is set to use a maximum of however many gigs you have allocated by default. And by default, this number will be one gig. So to change that, just erase everything after that in the sequence. And then until you have just XMX and then just type 4G just like I have over here. This will now allocate 4 gigabytes of RAM to your Minecraft. Please note, you must check to make sure that you have this much memory on your system, otherwise it won't work. Also, don't allocate your entire memory that you have on your computer to Minecraft if you only have 4 gigs on your computer. That will also cause problems and likely crashes, but the recommended amount as suggested by the developers of the mod is 4 gigs. So now just save the profile and press play. Once your Minecraft menu comes up, press options and then the new button which is shaders. Now you will see the downloaded shader pack that you have will be appearing over under the shaders section over here. Make sure it is selected, then just press done, press done again, press single player just to test it out, and your world should be loaded with the new shader if you have installed it correctly. And that's all there is to it guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you have any questions please be sure to leave a comment below. Also don't forget to mind that like button and follow me on my new Twitch account, link is in the description. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.